California only has 100 Ethiopian Jews, including Samu and his family. Arriving at the age of three, Esther now 40 tells us about her school career in Beverly Hills. I went to a Jewish private school from about, let me see, about five years old until I was about 14, right before high school. Um, it was interesting. <laughs> I was the only black girl there. Uh, everybody else was white around me. I remember that there was a rabbi in our school. Actually, he was a substitute teacher and he came for the day. And I remember coming back from recess and he stopped me in front of everybody and he said, stop, what are you doing here? And being an eight-year-old or seven-year-old, I think during that time, what would somebody answer? Of course, I go to school here. And he said, well, you're not supposed to be here. And I said, why? And he said, because you're black. I think that's one of the moments when I actually realized that I was different from everybody else. I mean, I knew I was different, but I also knew that I was color different. Eleni, an African-American Jew of Ethiopian descent, has also experienced racism in the Jewish community. People should really take the time to get to know, uh, especially in the Jewish community, get to know their neighbors and get to know the people that uh, comprise the Jewish people and, uh, you know, not perceive that it's only Ashkenaz Jews that are out there, only Sephardic Jews that are out there. Um, and I think it's really tiring to explain over and over again who you are and what you're doing in shul. <laughs> Esther's father, Samu, a political exile in 1981, struggled to get his papers, a journey full of pitfalls where the Jewish community has repeatedly tried to harm it. Every meeting I go, like Esther said, you don't look Jewish. How do you become Jewish, they say. Everybody doesn't look Jewish. Everybody looks like where they come from. Elisheva Rishon, a Brooklyn Jew and African-American, moved to Los Angeles and launched a clothing brand inspired by her story. I also want people to feel proud of being Jewish because right now in America, there has been a huge spike in anti-Semitism and a lot of people feel afraid to show their Jewishness. And I think we should do the exact opposite. I think we should proudly show who we are. But it's not just about black Jews. American Jews in this Latin community have a hard time being heard. Especially in Jewish communities, there is a unique tie between our historical experience with oppression and modern current expressions of disenfranchisement or oppression in American communities that make us natural allies, specifically for black and brown communities in the US. And I hope that Jewish folk in America will work very hard to look inward at the way their Jewish communities are, uh, to examine ways that they could be not only more welcoming to the true multi-racial, multi-ethnic Jewish community that they have present already, but also how they can ground themselves in their Jewish identity to serve other communities.